up. I feel like we have so much to talk about, so much to catch up on and just update you on everything that has been going on. So I guess I will start with, I hope you guys can notice a little bit of difference in the quality of this video. I finally, 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 I know I am so late on the bandwagon, but I finally invested in a DSLR camera. So this is the Canon EOS Rebel T5i. That's what it says on the little thing. And basically Elle forced me to. She was like, you cannot keep filming on a camcorder with everyone else on YouTube being like so perfect with their quality and stuff and then there's you and I was like I know I know I always thought it would be so difficult to focus like I really I'm I'm not a camera person like I don't understand and stuff but I guess this camera is the first one that has like silent autofocus so I don't have to worry about having someone else here to focus on and things like that so that's really really great because I live alone now so um yes also I started up a new blog it's called crushing on chic.blogspot.com I do own crushing on chic.com but for some reason it won't reroute it. I don't know why it says that there's like a 404 tracking error or something, whatever that means. Um, but I am trying to figure out I do own that site. So soon it will be crushing on chic.com, but for now it's crushing on chic.blogspot.com. I will put a link below and I also have a post where I explain where Lucy went. So you guys know my pug Lucy. If you follow me on Twitter, if you read my blog, any of those type of things, um, then you know that unfortunately I did have to give Lucy to a new home. I tried filming a video about it and I was talking to you guys about it, but it was still too soon. I was still sad because as much as I loved her and as much as she was my baby I felt like it was the kinder thing to find her a new home so you can read all about that on the post I will just link it in the bottom bar below um, but I'm having a lot of fun writing these blog posts ever since Ellen Blair went down we're working on getting it back up right now but ever since it went down I've been having major blogging withdrawals there's just just something about being able to sit down and write that's so different from expressing yourself like on a video or something like that so um, yes I'm very excited that the blog has launched and I'm doing a very fun giveaway that is going up on that in a couple days so make sure you are following that um, if you are interested in the giveaway it won't be anything to do with YouTube it'll just be on my blog um, so I hope you guys are excited about that what else do I have to update you on I told you about the camera I told you about the blog I told you about Lucy if you follow my blog then you know I was sick I got strep throat again what is my life I have to get my tonsils taken out literally they get to the size of golf balls and I feel like I can't even breathe like I feel like I can't get oxygen down which doesn't even make sense because I feel like there's probably like a different pathway that your air goes than your tonsils are but for some reason it just it it makes me feel super claustrophobic so um yes getting my tonsils taken out probably around the same time that I have to get my wisdom teeth taken out which I was supposed to do back in um I don't remember when I feel like it was like January of last year or something they were like if you don't get them back out by then it's gonna like make your teeth weird um yeah fast forward like a year and a half and I'm just sitting here like huh wisdom teeth still in they hurt really bad um, so basically the first half of this video that was supposed to be an intro but it turned into an entire portion of the video so let's just call this video half update half well update but I'm updating you on my condo so basically you guys know that ever since I moved in here I had been planning on redoing the living room I brought my old furniture that I had from the first apartment we had when we moved out here to LA but I wanted to like change it up a bit and stuff like that and I found a really good deal on a sectional that I was looking for so I have redone my living room so I am excited to show you guys that and there are a few other little changes going on around my apartment so I'm just gonna go ahead or condo I don't even know what it's called I feel like it's an apartment to me um, so basically, yes, around the condo that I will show you guys and I am very, very excited about it. First things first, we have the kitchen. Not much has changed in here except I got Teddy a little food mat for his bowls down there because he is such a messy eater. Water gets everywhere, food pebbles are everywhere. So I just got him a mat from Bed Bath & Beyond. And then I did a little bit of like decoration, I guess you could call it. I have like a lamp and a flower over near the phone. And then in here, I have two candlesticks and a picture of Elle and I. So that is it. I don't like there to be a lot of clutter on my kitchen counters and stuff I like it to be very minimal and then over here I got new bar stools so these are five white bar stools from Wayfair.com I don't remember the exact name of them but if you just go on Wayfair and type in like white bar stools sort it by the least expensive and this is like the least expensive one of them um, then you can go ahead and find these and they were super easy to put together literally like three steps you snap it together and it is good so I was very very pleased with those and 
I think it really breaks up the dark on the and door. Over here, I moved this mirror. It was catty corner in that corner over there, but I moved it over here to be kind of like in the living or in the dining room area and I really like the way that it kind of gave this area its own space instead of it all just being one big room. It kind of like divides it a little bit um, and the table and chairs are the same and then over here I still have the Z Gallery buffet, console, chess, dresser thing with um, all of my decorations on top of it. I love that. Everyone always asks me what that is when they come over. That is an African tribal wedding necklace that I got from Z Gallery and um, it's super cool. So welcome to my new living room. This is what I am most excited to show you guys. So this new sectional is absolutely my favorite thing and it is so comfortable. So it is this silver metallic crocodile uh, or faux crocodile leather and then this silver faux crocodile uh, velvet and it is so comfortable when you sit on it. And it's designed that this entire back armrest area you can actually sit on it so if you're having parties or something you have extra seating all the way around the couch which I thought was really cool and I just loved it so much and I got it on a super sale because there were a lot of imperfections and it was the floor model so they gave me an insane amount off so I was like okay this is going to be perfect and I could not be happier with my new section. So then I got this throw from them. It is faux or fake chinchilla, but it is so, 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 so soft. And then at Ikea, I got this palm tree that I put in a pot and um, the pot didn't exactly fit in the pot. So my friend Chris and I decided it would be a great idea to build a moat around it with some watercolored pebbles. So that's what we did. And we set it on top of a Just Fab shoe box. So that is kind of how that works out. And that is my makeshift, make my bamboo plant taller. Uh, thing and then I have just a side table that we had at the old apartment over there you guys have already seen this entire area this um, media stand and all this stuff over here and then this coffee table might be my favorite addition so it is a round marble top with a chrome base and I think it is so 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 cool and then I got this on super sale as well it was literally so inexpensive so I am so happy about that because there was an imperfection in the marble and then I have the chair that I have had since we first moved to LA it's from room service with a little pillow on it and I'm wondering I love this chair to pieces I absolutely love it but I'm wondering if it's too much with the black velvet on black velvet since these are like the exact same I'm thinking maybe a rug is going to break it up a little bit so I'm thinking I'm either gonna do a rug under the dining table or one definitely one in the living room area possibly in both so I'm thinking maybe that'll break it up but I love this chair so much I can't imagine like getting rid of it and not having What do you it. want, Teddy? Teddy's whining in here. Oh, hi. What do you want? Do you want to get off to bed? Okay. So then in here I got the, um, the long horizontal dresser from Ikea and I gave the taller one to a friend who just moved out here to LA and so um, they were interested in it and I really wanted the long one and this is the one that I had wanted originally but then when I was in my old apartment it wouldn't fit but when I moved in here I think it looks so much better to have that. I need to hang this up on the wall but I already scratched the wall here trying to do it myself so I think I need to just hold my horses and wait until someone can come help me. Teddy bear what do you think? He's like, I don't know, I'm just sniffing mama. So yes, and then you guys have seen my bedroom before. So that is it. Oh, and this picture I went ahead and framed. This was drawn by Leah and sent to our P.O. box and I think it's so cool. So I am going to hang that up here and I'm gonna do a little like picture collage right here because it's just so like blank. So I hope you guys enjoyed the updated condo tour and I will link a closet tour in the bottom bar below because those are always fun to go watch and stuff. And then also don't forget to check out crushingonchic.blogspot.com. Um, I will put a link in the bottom bar below and I'm having a very, very fun giveaway in the next few days that is going up on that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you later. Bye.